On today's Spicy Kiss Review, a limited time flavor of ways to try for science that I had to get just because of the name alone. Classic beer cheese kettle cook lace. So apparently there is something called beer cheese spread out there and it's pretty much only found in Kentucky unless you make your own. But I guess that means I just have to go to Kentucky now and try that for science too. So I'm definitely getting the cheesy aspect in there, almost like a buttermilk kind of bite to it as well. Not sure if I'm getting the beer offhand. Maybe a slight orange hue to this as well. But man, when I bit into that, first thing I thought of was beer. That beer really works with the cheese, got some tanginess in there as well. A little bit of onion powder. I think it has buttermilk in here too. It does have buttermilk in here. It's got a creaminess on there, has a little bit of tang. Man, I'm a fan of this, this is really good. You know, if I had a bacon cheeseburger to go with these chips, that would just be ultra glorious. Yeah, I'm really getting more of that beer also on the back end too. And definitely no mistaking that kettle cook crunch. This gets a little five out of five. So I wanted a hot sauce to pair with this that's gonna have some acidity, cut right through it, but also have a little bit of refreshing notes. Pineapple habanero sauce. Yeah, I have a feeling this is gonna go really well. Pineapple habanero hot sauce, gonna have some acidity, gonna have a lot of refreshing notes in there. And hopefully I don't spill it all over the place because that would just be tragic. These pandas are clumsy. You know, because there was cheese and buttermilk in there, it's not quite as good as I thought it was going to be. But I do love the refreshing pineapple in there and just a nice little kick from the habanero really lifts this up. So folks, would you try classic beer cheese kettle cooked chips for science? Let me know down in the comments. That's all for this Spicy Kiss review, guys. Embrace that pain and I'll see you in the next video.